Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. I don't know about you, but the end of summer tends to bring up an array of mixed feelings. It marks the slow descent into fall, the beginning of a new school year, shorter days. But on the bright side, it brings an onslaught of tons of new beauty products. Woo! Still, with everything hitting the market at such a fast pace, it can be really overwhelming to shop for new makeup, even for someone like me, whose literal job it is to stay on top of new releases. So, I thought I would put five of the buzziest new products to the test in hopes that it will guide you in your shopping experience. I've got a few things today that I'm really excited to try. I have not touched any of these things, the first of which is Too Faced New, Comfort Matte Foundation, Glossier's Powder, Wowder, Dose of Colors new highlighters with fellow YouTubers Desi and Katie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, and last but not least, the Bite Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipsticks. So let's put these on my face. I have never used this foundation before, so I'm not super positive what my shade is. I think it's warm nude. So it's oil-free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling and photo friendly. It doesn't feel like foundation to be honest. It feels like a tinted moisturizer, which is nice. And a lot of matte foundations have a tendency to look cakey or dry or cling to dry patches on your face. This one isn't doing that. It's not very high coverage, which I, ac I actually prefer. It looks so skin-like. So I'm gonna move on to powder now. I was very shocked when they came out with this powder because Glossier is all about like dewy, 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 dewy skin. But they say this is like the new powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set half my face with this powder so that I can see how well the powder works with foundation, but I also wanna see how the foundation holds up on its own. So I'm gonna ask my crew which side of my face I should powder. Guys? Left. Okay, left. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's a powder. I will say it looks really good. It doesn't look cakey on my face at all. My pores look smaller on this side, I think, than the other side. But so far, so good. So I am going to move on to Le Highlighter. I've been so excited about these Dose of Colors highlighters. On one cheek, I think I'm gonna use a fan brush. And then the other cheek, I'm gonna use a tapered highlighter brush, just because I'm curious to see how they apply. Okay, so the fan brush is applying it pretty sheer. But this one actually, you can build it up really nicely. Let's see what happens with this tapered brush. Yeah, this one's definitely, I think, going on a little bit stronger. I think I prefer it with this brush. It looks really pretty. I wonder how it will last throughout the day, because highlighter tends to just kind of disappear on me. We'll see. This palette launched, I think in August, and received a lot of flack, namely because a lot of consumers were saying that the eyeshadows were really powdery and not of the same quality as other Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. Sticking my finger in Roxy, this pretty pink shade, and whoa, do you see that pigment that that is? Okay, Axis. That one was powdery, guys. Mercury, all star. Oh, I'm into that one. I'm so into that one. That one was so pretty. Do you see this right now? I'm gonna use a door all over my lid because it's so pretty. It's so metallic and gorgeous. So I'm gonna use that. The formula for this one does feel a little bit drier, but the pigment is there, definitely. And then I'm gonna buff a little bit of the new wave shade into my crease just to blend it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of Roxy in my crease too just because I really wanna use this color. The shadows are applying really nicely. I think they're blending well too. I'm gonna not wear eyeliner. <gasps> and I'm gonna use this eyeshadow instead. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line. Just like for some extra definition. The last thing that I have here is the Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipstick from Bite. So this is not supposed to be a true liquid lipstick. It's supposed to be like a very hydrating kind of satin finish. It's a little shinier than I had hoped it would be. I think that I'm gonna blot it a little bit just to tone down the shine. Voila! Who's gonna buy this for $1,000? And 
that is my full face done. I just added some bronzer and some mascara, but I have a few fun activities planned to test out this makeup throughout the day. I think I'm gonna go shopping, walk around downtown New York a little bit, maybe have some lunch at a halal cart, and then at the end of the day, I'm gonna go meet my friend at this really cool rooftop bar at the Conrad Hotel called Loopy Doopy. They have popsicle drinks. I'm very excited about it. Let's get on with the day, shall we? All right, guys, I'm kind of halfway through my chicken gyro here. Lipstick's pretty much off. I just kind of like lick it off because I didn't want it to get all over my sandwich situation. So I'm gonna chop it off a little bit so you can see. It's nice because you can apply it like a lip balm. It feels really, really hydrating on the lips. I'm gonna go do some errands. I'm gonna grab some stuff at some shops, so stay tuned. All right, so I just did some errands. I'm actually most impressed, honestly, with how like vibrant the eyeshadow looks, like, even if I go far away. You can still see it. I'll see you later, bye. My friend Rachel is gonna come visit me and we're gonna have some popsicles together. Hi. It's been so long since I've seen you. All right, so I'm here with Rachel. We've got our popsicles. Cheers. Boom. Let's taste it. Oh, really good. So good. I'm gonna ask her about my makeup. What do you think? The eyeshadow looks amazing. Really? Yeah. I also was very pleased with it, actually. Yeah, right when I saw you today, I was like, it really glows. Yes. That's great. I think that it is a little bit smudging on the bottom, but I think at, it's five o'clock. I think that that's pretty normal So you've been at that wearing point. it for a while. I've been while. wearing it for a while. I started at like 9 a.m. What powder are you using? Glossier Wowder. Ooh, I've heard a lot of buzz about that. What does do you it think look of it though? Good. Like, does it look like skin? It looks really good. I think it does too. What highlighter is this? Because this is glowing. It's the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie highlighter, those two YouTubers. Ooh. They did a good job because it's so metallic. Yeah. And you can really build it. I put a lot on. So. I think this eyeshadow with this highlighter is You're 100%. So nice. Thank you. All right, well, yeah. sounds like we got the Rachel Chen approval. Do you want to take some rooftop selfies? Heck yeah! All right, guys, so I am back. It's around 7 p.m., so I've had this makeup on for like 10 hours, and I've got to say, it's still looking pretty fresh. The foundation, I think, feels so good. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. If you're not huge into powder, but you do want to powder your face, I would say maybe spring for something a little bit cheaper. I do think this powder is lovely, but I will say that I didn't think I necessarily needed it. Uh, the lipstick, it's definitely not something that I would wear if I needed to depend on my lipstick for 12 hours straight, but it's still very comfortable and nice. And since my lips are dry, I was like, thank you. The highlighter is still like really going strong. I will say that because it is so metallic, it does have a tendency to go a little bit powdery. It's nothing crazy. You're not gonna be like, whoa, that's like straight up powder on your face. But if you look really closely, it does look like that. The eyeshadow, I think I was really, really impressed with it, which I was really surprised about because again, I had heard so many mixed reviews about the palette. It's not a beginner palette, that's what I would say. All in all, I liked everything that I put on my face today, which I'm honestly not that surprised by because I'd heard so much about them. Like I had high hopes and they performed. So let me know what you guys think of the products or if you buy any of these and let me know what I should try next on Beauty With Me in the comments below. Bye! Thanks so much for watching guys. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29 and click here to watch more videos. Bye!